Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Kowalski, GDRF CEO, and I'm here in Washington, D.C. for our 2023 Children's Congress. This is an amazing event. We have over 150 kids from all over the U.S. and the world, and we're gonna get up on Capitol Hill and advocate for federal funding for T1D research and for affordable insulin. I'm Pranav. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Why is advocacy important to you? I was asked earlier what my dream would be. My dream would be that diabetes is something that's in the past, that it just doesn't happen anymore. But in the meantime, as we try to get to that destination, the journey we're on, I want to try to advocate for families, try to educate, try to share our experiences with them so that maybe it helps them deal with it a little bit better. What's been your favorite part of Children's Congress so far? Making new friends. And I really want to help uh, raise funds and find a new cure for diabetes. And I think when it comes to saving lives, the most important thing is making sure everyone has access to insulin. JDRF's Children's Congress is amazing, not only because we're getting to be here and hang out with a bunch of kids and families who live with our everyday struggles, but because we are all able to get an inside scope of what JDRF advocacy really is like. This event actually gives my hope legs. I'm really looking forward to talking to my senators from Wisconsin and help renew the special diabetes program. I think that would really help um, some of my fellow diabetics. I live with type 1 diabetes every day. I have for the past 25 years, but I don't want other people to have to do that for 25 years. So I think advocacy is so important because it's about representing the people that are coming behind you, making their lives better. Did you two know each other before this or you met here? We just met right now. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So you're meeting here from the same state? Diabetes, I mean, this is awesome, I love it. How old were you when you were diagnosed? Well, I was six years old. Very nice, I was six too, I love it. And I feel like a cure is in sight. I got diagnosed at 11 in Australia. In the hospital, there was like this cartoon doll that they were like, she's got diabetes. But there was no like face to a name or people that I could see or relate to. So, you know, to be here, I feel so grateful. This is what I wish that I had. It feels great, man. It feels great to just be able to relay that message. Type one isn't necessarily always understood. And, you know, I'm here to, to help others understand. The delegates are behind me and they've been trained and they're ready to head on into the Senate hearing where we will be able to testify and tell our stories of what it's like to live with type one diabetes. What an incredible day here on Capitol Hill, advocating for more special diabetes program funding and for affordable insulin. Amazing T1D champions. I just had the opportunity to talk with my senator about the importance of funding the SDP and insulin affordability. Your passion and advocacy, your hope for a cure are contagious. And together, I'm confident that we will continue our progress and achieve that goal. I want to welcome all of you to Washington, D.C. and to Congress. And I want you to know that your voices make a huge difference in making sure that Congress takes action to treat and eventually cure type 1 diabetes. My dream and my family's big hope is to cure type 1 diabetes. Together with your help, we can do it. We got to talk about things that we needed, like the SDP program to be renewed and how important it is for a cure. Thanks to brilliant researchers, clinical trial participants, advocates, JDRF, and the overwhelming support of senators like you, the tools I have today are vastly superior, and my life is so much better because of it. Honestly, I think it went really well. They sounded very supportive. This has been an absolutely amazing opportunity and I'm so grateful to be here.